Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another video on my channel. I am Yuri the VFR pilot and today I am stoked. I am nervous, I am hyped, I'm everything you can throw at me because today I'm departing on a VFR trip through France with a Robinson 44 helicopter. Yes, you heard it right, a helicopter. A lot of you will know I am a fixed wing pilot, but I've been invited uh, by Tur, um, who is a helicopter pilot. I already flew once with him. I will link the uh, video here above and in the description down below. And yeah, I am pretty stoked for this first leg because we are going to Paris. We're going to land on a heliport not far from the city center in the vicinity of the tennis courts of Laurent Garot and uh, yeah I'm pretty hyped for that because the views are gonna be stunning so I hope you will enjoy uh, this video if you do so hit the like button or the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel it means a lot it helps the algorithm with YouTube to find uh, other viewers and bring them to my content and yeah hit the notification bell so you are notified of upcoming videos see you on the next one here you see tour starting up the helicopter for our first part of our journey through france we are flying to Paris, ici le Moulineau Airport, it's a heliport in the center of Paris. Enjoy! Taking the runway 24 at Kortrijk Wevenham for departure. At this stage I am verifying all reporting points for the VFR helicopter routes around Paris.
Since communication is very important, certainly in the center of uh, Paris, I am in contact with Easy Le Moulineau Airport to uh, receive our clearance to land. So after receiving our special clearance into the um, area, I am verifying that on my iPad and making sure that Tour is uh, up to date on how we are approaching the airfield. Since we are flying and maneuvering in the city center of Paris, it's very important to fly the procedures as published or as given by ATC. So that is what I'm explaining to Tour and what Tour is flying of course in the helicopter. idea of distance we are flying approximately two miles or three kilometers from the Eiffel Tower. Here in the left corner you see the Department of Defense in France which is prohibited to fly over. So it is important to stay clear of it at the right side. Tur did a wonderful job landing the helicopter here in this complex area, Easy Le Moulineau, and now we are uh, asking the ATC where to park the helicopter for one overnight stay. So that concludes the first part of our journey through France, landing at uh, Isi Le Moulineau Paris Centre Airport. Some friends of Tour came to pick us up at the airport and we stayed one night in Paris. So uh, stay tuned for the second part.
day two of our journey we took an uber back to the airport ici le moulino and we are starting up the helicopter for a flight a very short flight to to sous le noble to fuel up and start the longest leg of our journey you will also see that vincent has joined us in the helicopter and he will accompany us for the rest of the journey Here you can see me communicating again with ATC, replying the instructions to leave the area to the southwest. A very short flight from approximately 15 minutes we are approaching Aerodrome to Sous Le Noble where we will land for a refueling. This airport is uncontrolled and certainly with a lot of traffic using both runways position reports are very important. This concludes the very short second trip of our journey flying from Isi Le Moulineau to Toussou Le Noble where we will review the helicopter and then start our third part of the journey flying from Toussou Le Moulineau to Sarla Dom Airport. are already in cruise of our third part of the journey to Sarla Dom Airport, a flight of approximately three hours which results in 450 kilometers or 280 nautical miles. of approximately three hours we arrived at Sarladom airport our final destination we stayed here for a couple of days in good company enjoying food and nice scenic flights before returning back to the normal life
guide for the rest of our stay here brought us into the right spot where we landed we took a short break started to know each other a little bit and afterwards Jess guided us to a private heli spot not far from the aerodrome where we stayed in a very nice um, chambre d'hôte after our landing in Sarla Dome to a private field not far from our Chambre d'Hôte and Tur landed the helicopter nicely in the field and we stayed a few days there enjoying the weather. For those who are interested, we stayed in Les Plantoux de Severo, located at Senac et Saint Julien, not far from Sarla Dom Airfield. It's a very nice BB chambre d'hôte and uh, yeah, nice facilities and a very nice owners, Solen and Zak. They are very nice and kind, they made our stay very, very pleasant. In our third day of our adventure in France, Jess guided us to a castle not far from our BMB. It's a 10 minutes flight, I think, and it's called Chateau de Montricourt, where we landed the helicopter in style, not far from the castle where we had lunch. We've also removed the doors or the front doors from the helicopter because it was a blistering hot day. For the adventure, Tur surprised me with a helicopter initiation flight. Jess, who is also a helicopter flight instructor, guided me with the flight controls and shortly after I was taking control myself of this nice Robinson 44 helicopter. And I must say, as a fixed wing pilot, I enjoyed it a lot. Not that I'm going to take 
a helicopter course but it was certainly a nice surprise from Tour so thanks Tour for that you took me by surprise but I'm grateful for this nice opportunity Flying the helicopter 40 minutes by myself, Jess took control again to land the helicopter in a private field to meet up with a friend. This concludes day 4 of our France adventure in the Robinson 44. On day 5 we packed our bags and flew from Sarla Dome to Bourges, further on to Amiens and then back to a private field in Belgium. I don't have any footage of that because of overheating cameras, but you get the picture I think. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment and I see you on the next one. Bye!